The story of Artists Art Formed Wheels is similar to our story of Fitman Industries. Uh, it was a way to express something that we were passionate about and finding a way to share that passion uh, with others. Uh, truly, it, it's been a dream of ours since our conception in 2017 to bring what we knew enthusiasts wanted out of wheels and it took nearly the last three years to do this, to launch Artisa Art Formed Wheels. So, with that being said, I think it's probably best if we take it back, uh, let's take it back a year, uh, the start of this crazy idea. I was looking at some different uh, popular wheels and uh, platforms in the market and no matter what they were introducing, it just didn't seem to meet what enthusiasts really wanted, what our audience was really asking for. So sure, the wheels would have a great finish, but they'd weigh a ton, or maybe they'd have a lightweight focus, but they'd look like every other lightweight wheel. There was nothing too crazy about them. Uh, directionally designed wheels that were out in the market weren't supported by the brand in the way that they were supposed to, meaning that the designs didn't flow the right way on both sides of the car, which resulted in people almost being upset that they bought wheels that they thought would mimic or mirror each side. If it wasn't that, it was plastic center caps falling apart or, or brake clearance issues or anything in between. We could see this more and more with Fitment Industries growing extremely fast in the wheel tire and suspension market. So really, that, that left people only with, with one option and that was forged multi-piece wheels. And, and it's an incredibly exciting process, but expensive, slow, and, and you'd ultimately end up facing the same issues with those that favored you know, something that was a lightweight wheel. So instead of sitting on our phones and letting other brands deal with the issues of their wheels, we decided to kind of jump in, to stop sitting on the sidelines and, and develop our own. So we decided to launch our own brand uh, in the afternoon of December 5th, 2019. The focus of this brand would be really simple. Focus on what people know they wanted and then give them a couple things that they probably didn't even know that they wanted. Something that we knew we could give to them that would make them really excited about picking up a set of wheels. So we wanted to care about every step of the process. We didn't want to sacrifice anywhere and we wanted to make the experience that was usually only available in the bespoke or multi-piece wheel market available to all enthusiasts, both in functionality and the design work of the wheels. I've always believed that building a car is a lot like making your own painting or, or your own piece of art. And it was a way to express and show the world just who exactly you are. So with our own wheel brand, we wanted to carry that mentality into everything we did. We wanted our wheels to be crafted, designed and curated with the eye of an artist, somebody that really cared about what they were putting on their car. And from there, the name Artisa Art Formed Wheels was born. During this time, we continued to get feedback from the tens of thousands of car guys and car gals out there through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, messages, and everything in between with what was going on with their wheels and what they wish they could have had. And they all shared the same three foundational issues with the wheels that they picked up. It was either a lack of attention to any sort of function for the wheel, it had poor presence or design, or just the look of it, or the lack of the passion within the brand itself. And those three pieces would become what we would call the canons of Artisa Wheels. To ensure we embodied function, presence, and passion, always and everywhere, in every single thing that we did. These conversations are what also fueled Artisa's design work, our colors, our brushing, the techniques, and the technical foundations of every single wheel that we went to launch with. And all of these details and pieces that we so kind of carefully crafted and worked around maximizing the function, presence, and passion would ultimately bleed into two of the biggest pieces that make Artisa Wheels what it is. Those are called the art form technology and deco directional. Art form technology would be used to discuss what we would craft, our hyper thin flow forged barrel, which would end up being less than three millimeters wide while maintaining an above OE load rating. Back pad, spoke, barrel shaving, wherever possible to reduce unnecessary rotational mass without sacrificing any sort of front design and spoke angles so that we could maximize concavity that allows for big brake clearance on some of the most aggressive platforms out there in the market right now. Our adaptation of the A356 aluminum alloy used in our wheels paired with the grain restructure of the barrel for that forged-like weight savings and strength would go into the countless molds that we'd begin creating for the brand. We wanted every single wheel size and 
offset to maximize those things for every enthusiast out there. That allowed us to ensure that no matter what size wheels you would pick up or we would pick up for their car, that the design work would maximize spoke leg, technology, concavity, brake clearance, weight savings, as much as we could, no matter what. And you could probably say that we were, uh, we were pretty, pretty picky. All right, people, people may not like us as much anymore because of that, but, uh, but uh, I mean, oh well. Artisa would launch sizes that would maximize fitments for JDM, domestic, and some European markets, bringing out sizes like 19 by 11 plus seven, 19 by 10 plus 12, or 18 by 10 and a half plus 15. On the other side of the fence, our Deco Directional would end up becoming our craftsmanship definition for all things related to the special details in our wheels. Most importantly, and probably starting off with the biggest facet of it, would be the fact that all Artisa wheels feature movement in every single design, or what would be direction. Every design in our launch set features single drilled, directionally designed wheels specifically built to complement both sides of your car. And it's just, it just wasn't, it's not common in the wheel market because one, it's a lot of work for part numbers and stocking and for people to actually keep almost four times the amount of what they need to. And ultimately it's not something a lot of people wanted to do. Because we wanted every artist of purchase to truly feel like you were getting a wheel built for you, we decided to move forward with that premise even though it was gonna be more work. Each artist of wheel would also feature an experience from the unboxing of the first wheel to our billet aluminum center cap box set, which every single box is handled by one of our team members to ensure that when you open it, you get to see the level of detail that we chose to put into everything that even goes down to our center cap. Every center cap watch box includes a complimentary valve stem cap with a poly plastic insert to prevent corrosion for those that live up north or have inclement weather. You don't have to worry about that seizing on the valve stem cap to your valve stem. Also included is an art form technology accent piece that can fit on every Artisa art form wheel if you prefer to showcase that. And most importantly, in between the two high pressure foam cutouts is your individual gasket sealed center cap, allowing you to be a part of the process with the wheel from the art form insignia to the center cap installation. Something that we wanted to have you do because it felt good when we used to do it when we bought wheels. We wanted every piece of the experience and the true function of the wheel to, to pretty much check all the boxes. We carried that into developing the brand. And I'm honestly not sure what was more difficult, like the 4,000 emails and the 100 meetings or doing a ton of Pantone research until it made it feel like our eyes were just drying out because it was so much. But because we're Fitment Industries, we were able to pull some of the most excited and well-versed designers together to actually create our brand image. What we thought in our head was finally making its way to paper. Starting with the logo, colorway, and ideology that would surround the Artisa art form brand, we wanted the colors to be light and different, something that would remind people that we've stepped out of what everyone else had been doing. Instead of black and whites and gray, introducing hues of purple and blue. We've always given kind of a special mention to years prior in the design work world, especially within Fitment Industries. It was a style that we love and respected when you go back to the era of the 70s and 80s. And it was a time where shades of gray didn't rule the world. It was style. And that timeless style that many are now learning ends up being indestructible forever. And we wanted that for Artisa. And we were infatuated with how well it tied into the overall art style of the brand. The logo would focus on that same element, colors, pops of colors, and a minimalistic but purposeful design that took care into what we were trying to show. The short logo of the A and W with the shapes on the outside to outline the directional purpose of each wheel design. As with any design, we wanted the logo to scale, regardless of the location of it. So as it grew smaller, the A and W would be more prominent. As the size increased, the presence of the logo would follow. So from the center cap dimensions all the way up to the header image of the apparel logo or the website, it would match and scale. We probably had about 35 different designs and colorway offers for the brand, and they all were fantastic, and I wish we could have just done them all. But we took the idea of a pop of color, sometimes to a little extreme, mostly because of how excited we were. And it was really, I mean, it was, it was a blast. But the tastefulness really started to show when we went with the cooler colors you now see in all of the products, including our very own signature finish that we're offering on the Artisan Night, the Picasso Blue. The Artisan Wheel line itself launches with five designs. The Knight, the Titan, the Carrier, the Kinetic, and the Elder. 
all of which feature everything that we just talked about and probably some of the things that I'm missing. Each name is derived from a prominent art piece, artist, or design style that's hidden within the wheel design itself. The Knight, named after the most famous Vincent van Gogh painting, The Starry Night, was our first design completed and was sketched on the living room floor of my house at 7, 7 a.m. Saturday morning. Likely the most abstract design of the five launched, it's the one that features the most movement and likely embodies the presence aspect of Artisa Art Formed Wheels the most. All of its sizes would come in at 19.1 to 19.7 pounds, which included a 10 and a half inch wide wheel with the rotational mass being focused around the center of the wheel versus the outside edges. It's also the only wheel to come in the Picasso blue finish, something that we're extremely excited about to reintroduce to the automotive market, which is a touch of color. The flange spoke allows fitment of big brake kits like the Evo and STI without sacrificing concavity or lip space. The Knight was designed to be on platforms of performance and dance and hatches that had featured creased fenders, essentially creating something that could match some of the most aggressive body lines that are out there right now. The Titan, named after the 16th century Italian painter, would be introduced shortly thereafter and was introduced and built specifically for the sport coupe market of the world with less spokes and greater weight savings and a more mild deco directional design. The recessed back pad allows for greater clearance of calipers, but the spoke design with the edge cuts allow for the design to just hint at a little bit of deco directional design. The carrier, paying respect to the flower carrier painting, would go backwards in time, but with its design featuring a five spoke directional design with center cutouts for weight reduction and an additional shaving of the front edges of the design. Designed during our time at home during Q2 of 2019, which was a very unique time for all of us, this design was built with feedback taken directly from the FRS, BRZ, and GT86 community for what they wanted out of a wheel, plus what we knew would do really great with that platform. The Kinetic, quite literally art in motion, would be introduced to offer a wheel to our hot hatch community with the clearance they desperately needed. The five spoke design has always been a classic, but we wanted to push a new take to the look through angled deco directional spokes, a recessed lip before the flange trim, and a bowl cut hub center. Some of the smaller details that really make it look unique. And even with these smaller details, we were able to maximize clearance for the RS model focuses and also make sure that we're still giving it the concavity it deserves that usually doesn't happen on the hot hatch platform because of that brake clearance issue. We're really excited to introduce the five spoke design because it really is something special for that industry. And finally, the Elder. Named after the most popular Dutch Renaissance artist, the Artisa Elder is one of the most wide range designs that will support our mild to aggressive fitments. With our most aggressive sizing allowing us a plus seven offset on an 11 inch wide wheel with five and a half inches of spoke concavity from hub bore to lip. An increased load rating to properly support vehicles like the GTR, Infiniti G Series, 350, 370Z, and those that are looking for the widest setup possible in the common sizes from a monoblock wheel, whether you want to run that as a square setup or a staggered setup. I think one of the most humbling experiences or like moments was when the wheels came in for the very first time. Something that just under a year ago was a napkin sketch was finally something that we could hold. It was something physical. It was, it was incredible to see that really come together, for the team to come together and, and really see a lot of the work start to pay off. And even after revisions and weighing each wheel and picking at color schemes and all the smallest details that we were trying to nail down, it was just something that we couldn't help but smile about. Every single time we saw one of the wheel samples, we were just laughing and smiling because it was just, it was special, you know? Now with wheels on the way, it, it's, it's time to share them all with everyone and it's exciting. It, it's so fun to finally introduce something that we knew we wanted to do, plus pairing that with what some other people wanted to see in the industry. It was just, it felt right. Then finally taking a trip to actually seeing the wheels being made, looking at all the technological advancements we made on our wheels to make sure we could offer some of the lightest, best looking wheels out there. Everything that had to do with our mold creation, to our back pad shaving, to everything in between. It was breathtaking to actually see all of the work we wanted to see the wheel become actually happening. And now since the days leading up to our launch, to the beginning days of learning how to sketch a design on a notepad as not many of us were natural artists. Our goal has been the same, to introduce the car community with a new set of wheels that brings together what they knew they wanted and what we knew the industry just didn't have. 
to offer the detail and focus and the experience that's really only known in the bespoke wheel market to any enthusiast out there. To take the experience and knowledge of Fitment Industries and all the specifications that we know work and bridge it into a wheel design that we knew would do well. To introduce wheels in a way that embodies what cars help us do, express ourselves. To design wheels that don't sacrifice looks for performance or price point. We're enthusiasts and we're excited, we're super excited to introduce you to the very first time the Artisa Artformed Wheels launch lineup. We're really excited and blessed to have all of the community on board for this exciting new and absolutely scary huge project. It's been an absolute blast to see all of this finally come together and we're really thankful for your support. And if you're looking at or you're interested in checking out our wheels and our mission and what we're trying to do, be sure to do that over at artisawheels.com or fitmentindustries.com. We hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for the support.